The following is a presentation of TFNN. The P Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, David White. And welcome all to another exciting edition of the Power Trading Hour. With me, your humble, lovable, and squeezably soft host. As always, we like to come to you at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. Well, we're only off about two points on the s and Oh, still going there. We're only off about uh, two, three points on the S&P cash. Pattern is kind of setting up like yesterday, and that is that uh, we had kind of a push most of the day. It was extremely light volume and then selling into the close. Uh, question is whether we're going to get that today. We've got pricing probably tonight for Lyft. That's going to suck a quick 30 or $40 billion out of the market. So the question is, uh, does the market recover from that? Fund buying really doesn't start till Monday, so you got a couple of days. Uh, even then, uh, because it's going to be a short month, uh, there's going to be uh, about only about three fourths of the money, because the way the weeks go and the paychecks go, only about three fourths of the money that we would normally have, which means we'll have a little bit more in March. So you want to remember that. But right now we've got uh, kind of a market that's uh, certainly not climbing, not declining much. But uh, I suspect uh, we haven't had one of these markets where you just kind of went two steps back, one step forward, two steps back, one step forward for a while. And uh, those markets do exist. I've been waiting. I don't know if I've been waiting. I, I've been thinking that eventually we would get one of those. And so far, uh, the question is, what happens in the last 30 minutes, maybe even the last 15 minutes of the day? But uh, I think the machines are just so good these days. They see the market come down. The first thing they do is start uh, running any uh, weak-handed shorts out of the market during the day. And then in the last 15, 30 minutes, we sell off kind of like we did yesterday. So we'll see if that pattern holds again today. But that would tell you maybe there's a sea change coming. We've got a lot of weak stocks that people just can't wait to buy every single dip in. Uh, but uh, there's just not much juice. They like to buy the dips, but as soon as it starts going higher, they're already out of it, and the, and the momentum stops on the day. So we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, we've got a lot of stocks to look at today, maybe a lot of phone calls. Uh, and uh, what else do we have? Oh, I won't be here tomorrow. I will be gone. So uh, I'll see you again on Friday. So if you're looking for me to kick around tomorrow, it, I won't be here. Can't kick me. Uh, and I'll take the kick me sign off my back also. So uh, what else do we have? That's about it right now. Um, flat Dow's off, what, 64? Is that right? Let's go ahead and update it, make sure. And 63, 64. Nasdaq's just flat. Russell's up a little bit. Russell's back up a little bit because I think people thought uh, in the testimony this morning in front of Congress uh, that the... Uh, uh, the administration officials would say that the uh, tariff issue was a lot farther down the road than it was. And, uh, it, you know, basically, as long as the tariffs are around, the Russell's going to be at least stronger uh, than most. Uh, as soon as that uh, tariff issues are down, my guess is that we'll probably see the premium that have been in those for a while uh, kind of fade off. But uh, that's about it. Uh, 2791. Uh, again, we were down about 14 points at the low on the S&P cash. So we are a bit higher. Um, but uh, again, very much like yesterday, uh, the volume uh, came in on the downside. On the light side, on the upside, it's much uh, harder. We're going to have more volume as we moved lower uh, this morning. But uh, last two hours, volume has turned to a crawl. But we are doing about four and a half billion shares as we start the show. 
to uh, say anything else in housekeeping we need to know about lift IPO prices tonight that'll be a, a big deal normally they try to keep the market uh, or even push it up into one of these big IPOs to chum the waters and uh, if you've not seen jaws then you don't know how to chum for a big fish but uh, that's how you do it on the MTV money for nothing and chicks for free but uh, that's it uh, do, 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 do. what do we have? Um, oh, we've got a little history. And it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 1922, in Washington, D.C., which is a place here in the United States, the 19th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution providing for female suffrage is unanimously declared constitutional by eight members of the U.S. Supreme Court. The 19th Amendment, which stated that the right of the citizens of the United States to vote shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or any state on account of sex, was uh, the product of over seven decades of meeting petitions, protests by women, suffrages, and their supporters. And of course, uh, ever since that date, we've been told how to and where to drive Somehow women, I think about on that same date, or think, or maybe they actually were endowed with uh, direction-finding abilities. But uh, not a lot of discussion about uh, uh, ask, pull over here and ask where to go before then. And, of course, um, eventually we put the women out of business by buying GPSs. Now they tell us to uh, turn into lakes and uh, maybe even into buildings, but uh, well, a whole lot less of that stop and ask for directions, which you know us men can't do. Okay, so what else do we have going on in the minute? Uh, uh, we want to look at some charts. Um, had a few people asking me about Microsoft. I didn't see anything new in here. Uh, everybody just flooding into it. And again, I'm suspecting uh, that we've got a great deal of uh, the move in these markets, um, chumming the waters for these huge IPOs. Uh, a lot of times, uh, 30%, sometimes 40% of the earnings of these big street monsters uh, comes from that. And as far as I know, every pig has his snout in the, uh, in the trough on this one. So uh, I'm not kind of surprised that we've seen this huge move up on very light uh, energy, as shown by my power law vector indicator number. Uh, we've also got into previous highs, like on Microsoft. The December 3rd high at 113.42 had 35 million shares. Yesterday, we got into it with 21.5 million shares. Today, we got 12 million shares. So uh, is it just a lot of putting some lipstick on this pig? Well, it certainly could be. So... Uh, just be prepared. Maybe it's as good as it gets. Maybe we find a little bit of fun buying even before the end of the day. Remember, they got to get those people in there to buy those shares today because uh, the uh, product of Wall Street is not making you rich. It is selling paper. We'll be back in a minute. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Dave's not here. That's what you're going to hear tomorrow. Okay, uh, so we were looking at Microsoft and what's going on here. I mean, we're basically flat. On the S and P and cash now, Dow's down 37. Russell's up. Uh, yeah. Let's update this just to make sure. Yeah, 2.68. So not much movement out there. Okay, so what do we have uh, going on now? Yeah, they'll, they'll put some lipstick on this pig. Uh, I suspect if uh, I you don't hear outside of uh, Wall Street unless you're in the inside of how everything's going, but we'll hear about that tonight, I would assume. If it doesn't price tonight, then maybe they'll price it on Thursday. But uh, you gotta have a market that's receptive. You also have to have people to sell things so that they can afford to buy new things like Lyft. But uh, we shall see. Uh, not uncommon though, to see uh, the giant sucking sound. Where's Ross Burrow, by the way? The giant sucking sound of people selling shares Set a high in the market with a new IPO. Uh, vastly overpriced at anything, as far as I can tell. But we'll look at it. Uh, let's go ahead and look at some more stocks. We didn't get too many in. We had phone calls yesterday. Certainly, you get in early. If you call in the last two minutes of the show, I'm probably not going to be looking down there to see if someone called in. So get those calls in early. Uh uh, Kadia Pharmaceuticals uh, breaking out on this one. Again, a lot of these stocks, as we've seen before, uh, break out, don't have a lot of juice, and then pull back into the trading range in the next few days. So we'll see how that goes. On our Kadia Pharmaceuticals, November 2nd, you had uh, $23.55 with 5 million shares. So far today, 2.2 million shares as you break through the top. Adobe uh, bouncing around. Uh, two previous highs, uh, got into an 8.7 million share high. That's the October 17th high, uh, 261.89. Hit that a few days ago on February 13th with 2.52 million shares. Yesterday, 2.5 million shares. Today, 1.2 million shares. So not a lot of juice or momentum. Energy on the way back up off the December 24th low was about 65% uh, 
of the energy that you had on the way down. AVT, which is uh, Avnet. We talked about this one for a while, kind of going above its previous high. It spiked two days ago on less than half the volume of its December 3rd high at 44.97. Then at 1.2 million shares with 500,000 shares yesterday, yesterday, I mean, two days ago. Yesterday, 666,000 shares. Today, just 240,000 shares. Uh, off by about uh, 40% of the energy on the way from the way down uh, to that December 26 low. So uh, not a lot of juice, and you can see it in the volume bars. You don't really need me to point it out to you that much. Those are fairly dramatic versions. Other stocks in this sector, AstraZeneca, AZN, busting out a move of the November 13th high. That was $41.78, 9 million shares, 9. You went through in and into it with 4.2 million shares yesterday, got 3.6 million shares. And again, these things have kind of been coming out and then right back into the trading range. Uh, Casey General Stores, this one's been banging around these highs for a while, testing the uh, previous December 12th high at 137.08, that had 1 million shares yesterday with 500,000 shares, today just 248,000 shares. Uh, the big hog, Harley Davidson. Uh, let's move some stuff around here. Uh, Harley Davidson, um, it's hard for me to see, especially these guys making electric motorcycles, um, just how they're gonna do that great in the near future. Again, they I would say that the biggest problem with their product is quality control uh, and making a better bike. They've never been the high priority. They make most of their money, I think 80% on accessories and T-shirts. So they're not really worried about the bikes that much other than as a status symbol. Uh, January 18th, $37.00. 65 cents, 2.6 million shares. Got into it two days ago with 1.4 million shares. Yesterday, 1 million shares. Today, 872,000 shares. But again, just not a lot of juice on this right-hand leg. So we're going to either need a lot of consolidation to go higher or a decent pullback on light volume and then go take yet another run at these highs. That's kind of my theory. I think we could come back to 2650 on the S&P cash, and maybe we get under 27, that's somewhere in there, 2700, 2650, somewhere. And if we can have a nice long pullback where everybody doesn't believe that the market just exists to make them rich, I think we could get uh, the correct uh, technical setup go bust out these highs, maybe before the end of the year. Uh, the Hershey Company, another one we talked about uh, a few days ago, busting a move back into the trading range today. The December 4th high, 110.30, had uh, 2.2 million shares. Uh, you got into that with uh, 1.5 million shares on February 21st. Uh, now we're closing back into that trading range the last two days. So. Uh, didn't have the volume pulled back in. There are weaker stocks than this, but uh, just a good example of how many were there. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, question and then, why was Tillerson outed? Why was Mattis outed? Uh, he decided to mouth off to the boss. That probably the easiest. Easiest thing to say, you serve at the pleasure of the president. I don't understand why people don't get that. Yeah. Anyway, uh, to, to, to what else is going on? I-E-U-R. This is the iShares uh, European ETF. Uh, just interesting to see it back up to the previous highs and test it yesterday. November 7th, you had 1.8 million shares at 4566. Uh, you got, uh, what, a nickel above it yesterday, 162,000 shares. Today, 134,000 shares. Uh, energy is not as bad as you would think off the December 26 low, but uh, not great. 
Uh, do we have any other people calling in here? Let's go ahead and check the emails. By the way, you can email me at path at tfnn.com. Um, okay. S M R T. Is Smart and Final or Steinmark? Um, still looks good out here. Um, building cause, but again, uh, you had your one bounce, you pulled back. I mean, it's just one of these stocks that you're going to have to sit on for a long time. Uh, that's the problem. We'll be back in a minute. We got uh, a lot more of these stocks to look at. Then we'll have the big movers in the late part of the show today. of least resistance is david white's daily trading newsletter and if you're looking for active trading ideas then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service david uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his path of least resistance newsletter using a combination of equity trades along with options david keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TF and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And we're off a buck now on the S&P cash at 27.92 as we snore away in the afternoon as we do. But like I said, I mean... Um, Volume has become incredibly light this time of day, and then you wait for the end of the day. Just, I, I suspect that everybody gets a position early in the morning, and the machines go after them for a while until they're gone. And then we wait for the men with real money on Wall Street to actually put that money in or out of the market, play the hokey pokey the last 15 or 30 minutes of the day. 
Uh, but uh, pretty light, uh, just doing about uh, one, maybe a hundred million shares in 15 minutes, pretty light. 4.68 billion shares on the CBOE consolidated tape. So kind of a quiet day. Uh, t -t -t um, okay, what else do we have? Um, dollar index, eh. This thing is kind of stuck, isn't it? 96.04. Every time you think it's going to break, they go lower. Nope. Every th time you think it's going to break, they go higher. Nip. Uh, gold's uh, off 8 bucks at 13.20.50. And uh, maybe that's telling you a little bit of what the market's thinking out here. Uh, to do what else do we have? Oh, let's get back to charts. Uh, intuitive Surgical. Another one hanging out at these highs. Again, uh, as we've said, a great deal of these stocks breaking previous highs uh, did so and now are coming back into the trading range. Um, Intuitive Surgical uh, never had the volume, still broke a little bit above it. Uh, 1.3 million shares on November 7th. You had uh, December 3rd, 1.1 uh, million shares. Uh, so you went above that with 480,000 shares on the 25th. Uh, yesterday, 454,000. Today, just 300,000. So there's not a lot of movement in this one. It's not one of the weakest stocks out here, but certainly, uh, again, the whole market seems to be uh, uh, doing a little prairie dogging, a little uh, Punxsutawney Phil sticking his head out, seeing if there's a shadow. Um, what else do we have? J&J, &J, um, not a lot of uh, ABC patterns. But uh, you certainly should look at this one because it uh, looks pretty much like an ABC on the way down. Some of the weakest energy off that December 24th low. Uh, one to one takes you to 109.50. Uh, maybe that talcum powder with the cancer in it uh, is not selling as, as well as other people thought it would. In the IBB sector uh, or the biotech sector, uh, we've been watching these. So far, the energy you're looking for uh, or was looking for when it broke above the December 4th uh, high was uh, 4.7 million shares. If you're very charitable, you can go to the November 2nd high, uh, 62.34 with uh, 3.7 million shares. Uh, today, you got 2.3 million shares so far yesterday, 2 million shares. Uh, the day before, you had 4 million shares. So you're kind of getting through it. There was some decent earnings uh, in that sector. Uh, but uh, again, it just gets there and stalls. Uh, MasterCard, another one uh, hitting highs on very light volume. November 1st, uh, 225.10. That's 7 million, eh, 7.1 million shares. Two days ago, 3.1 million shares. Yesterday, 2.7 million shares. Today, 1.3 million shares. So again, um, everybody acting like they're waiting for something. A Merck. One of those ones that actually uh, was supposed to have some fairly good news. Not a lot of movement out on this one. You got the December 4th high, $80.19, uh, 21 million shares. You've been doing about uh, half that at best, 9 million shares on the 21st, 4.44 uh, million shares so far today. So, again, you're going above these things, and there isn't a lot of volume coming in. Uh, to to uh, NEO. Uh, which is uh, Neogenomics, uh, another biotech testing. It's November 1st high, 1904. Uh, that had 2.2 million shares into it today with 900,000 so far. Another stock that you wouldn't generally see on these lists uh, is certainly Nike. It's back up to its previous highs. That was the December 21st high at 85.82. And it had 14 million shares. Yesterday, you had 6.7 million shares. Today, you've got a little push higher on 2.5 million shares. So again, just not a lot of juice coming into these. Uh, to, to, to what else do we have? Northrop Grumman uh, did test its previous high of 1.5 million shares on November 8, 287.34. Got into it on the 25th with 529,000 shares, down on 527 yesterday. 
and uh, 583,000 shares today. So not a flood of energy coming in on these, although the market continues to push, push, push intraday. Uh, gap down going back on NXP semiconductors to July 26 of last year. Uh, that came down on 49 million shares, got into it uh, with uh, 4.8 million shares on the 25th. Yesterday you had uh, 4.3 million shares. Uh, today, 3.2 million shares. So rolling off a little bit of that. Energy was a little bit better off that December 26th low than a lot of other stocks, though. Flat on the S&P cash at the moment. Oracle, uh, this one continues to bang out highs. The volume finally got a little bit better a couple of days ago. You're still light uh, going against this November 19th high with 19.5 million shares. If you're very charitable, you can go back to the March 13th high <clears throat> that had 16 million shares, but you're still light. And that's about it. RFI, or no, RHI, which is Robert Half International. Yeah, I don't know why that one's in there. Uh, TSM, which is uh, Taiwan Semiconductor, the big semiconductor manufacturer. Uh, as we see the high on November 2nd, 34.48, that had just about 10 million shares, got into it with 4.7 million shares on the 25th. Yesterday, 5.4 million shares. Today, a little doji out here, 3.4 million shares. Uh, energy, yeah, kind of a, uh, yeah, kind of a mediocre drive up off that January 4th low. Let's go ahead and look at some of the stocks that did have earnings last night. We had a lot of them. I don't think that they really drove or will drive the market that much. Don't we'll keep a, an eye on that. Uh, KDF Pharmaceuticals, we talked about this one already, um, coming above, but not a lot of juice. You're looking for about 5 million shares, breaking through that today with 2.5 so far. Uh, Best Buy had a lot of shorts in it, a ton of shorts. Uh, a couple of stocks out here where people were vastly wrong uh, with massive 12 and 13 days to cover. Uh, Best Buy was one of these ones that had a lot of people short in it. Uh, Pop today, I don't know if the earnings were that good. They just weren't that bad. Certainly have a lot of volume in that one today. Looks like you're going to go up to test 75.11 before the uh, energy's out of that one. Um, CoreLogic, uh, some of these semis uh, starting to show some fairly big weakness in earnings. This one, CLGX, uh, down hard today on one and a half million shares, uh, basically taking everything back uh, to the beginning of February as this pushed up uh, coming into earnings. Campbell's Soup. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com 
and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. We've got a question from yesterday. I just saw the email show up here this morning. That's uh, Earl wants to look at Baba, Valley Baba Group. Been going up, did gap up with a decent amount of energy, 22.7 million shares on the 25th. But that's going into 78.8 million shares uh, back on August 23rd. So, you know, energy wasn't horrible on the way up off the December 24th low, but uh, it just looks like the rest of this market, and that is that all the juice uh, ends up uh, coming out. Uh, EOG resources came out after the bell a little higher today, not much volume on it. Uh, Fresh Pet uh, also spiked previous high, had about the same amount of energy, but couldn't hold the high. For all you potheads out there, uh, we've got uh, GW Pharmaceuticals making it to the previous September 27th high, 179.65, got to 179.62, and three cents short. Um, you had the volume today, it just hasn't held that high. Our earnings will uh, and were actually fairly decent, so not a big one. So uh, there you go, get rid of these. You can email me at path at tfnn.com. Of course, you can always call me at 877-927-6648. Um, what else do we have? IMAX. Uh, IMAX had a nice little spike. I think they're going to do well this summer. I've bit, seen some fairly long segments of the new uh, Apollo movie. And uh, if there's one movie that you want to see in IMAX in that big screen uh, curved theater kind, not the cheapy ones at the local quadplex, but I mean the real nice ones at like Johnson Space Center or uh, the Mosey here in the, in uh, Tampa. Yeah, I think you want to see this one. This is absolutely breathtaking um, with what they've done with some of the old footage of uh, the Apollo program. Anyway, nice pop in IMAX on earnings. I think a little of it is talking about how much money that they'll make off of this Apollo movie. Um, big money maker for those documentaries that actually drag people into the theater. Uh, it's not set up the same way as the uh, uh, lead uh, mo Hollywood kind of movies out there. Jazz Pharmaceuticals popped up, uh, got a little doji out here back into the resistance level that started on early, you know, for second week of December and just went sideways. Uh, t -t -t what else do we have? Lowe's came out with earnings this morning before the bell, gapped up a little higher, given a little bit of it back really didn't do much out here. And of course, um, that's on the back of Home Depot, not looking all that well uh, after its earnings, uh, but uh, eh, even sliding a little bit today. Uh, if you want to talk about the winner of the day, it's certainly Mercado, uh, Mercado Libre. Um, this one had a massive short sellers uh, into it, and it just blew them out 
today. I don't think the earnings were that great. They, again, just weren't that bad. And you had far too many people short this stock for the conditions it was in. Mylan Pharmaceuticals uh, testing its low today on earnings, blowing through the December 24th low that had 10 million shares already with 19.4 million shares. Um, yeah, you went down four cents lower than the previous low. Certainly a washout. Uh, in the uh, Palo Alto Networks, another stock had a lot of people short it going in uh, to earnings last night, popped up to 260, breaking through the September 13th, uh, 239.50 high at 2.2 million shares. You already have 4 million shares. This one is holding it. Uh, PSA, which is public storage, nice little pop on this one, uh, but not a lot of juice for earnings. Uh, Pizza the Hut, Papa John's Pizza, up a little bit, but nothing to write home about, not breaking any previous highs or lows. Uh, one of my other favorite places, Red Robin Gourmet Restaurants, not doing that well. I like it. Down into the previous low with some decent volume. Uh, didn't stay there, kind of rotated back up. But we got a lot of volume down here close to the December 26th low. SRPT, which is uh, Serepa Therapeutics, popped up a little bit. I uh, had a lot of volume up against the November 2nd high, uh, and it's into it. Uh, but uh, eh, you might get up to the October 1st high at 165.78. Uh, you need 2 million shares on that. So not that bad for it. TJ Maxx, as we look at more stocks. Uh, to, 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 what else do we have? It's breaking a little bit more higher. In fact, um, I got to say that the, the uh, email we had earlier um, about, uh, oh, I deleted it now. What was it? Steinmark. I mean, if you see TJX companies moving, uh, and this one does have a little bit more juice out here. I think you want to look at this. You wanted to see 17 million shares, though, and a little disappointing out here that you get uh, 12 million shares, but it's holding it, which is a better sign than most. So they're not a bad-looking thing. Neutral tandem, uh, blowout quarter, uh, I think is all you can say. Uh, a valid breakout of the December or September 13th high. Um, back at 53, 54 bucks on light volume, you'd have to look at that. Maybe you get it if the market pulls back and gives you a little Christmas gift getting ready. But a valid breakout on that one stock. Not many of those around. Toll Brothers um, was doing a little bit better after hours last night. It's been rolling down almost all day long. Not a lot of volume, uh, but again, uh, I'm going to say that the Fed has not been charitable with uh, what it's going to do with the uh, bond holdings. At least that is my opinion from what they said. Uh, a lot of job bonings, not much actual action. Uh, we've talked about uh, uh, Ingenious, which is uh, W-A-T-T -T for the symbol, about it being a company that's either a total fraud or worth a uh, eh, 100 or 200 bucks a share. Hard to tell which one it is, uh, other than the fact that they pulled every kind of, of uh, act that previous people that have committed fraud with this kind of technology have done. You're finally back down to the December 31st low that had 2 million shares with 6 million, 6.5 million shares. Um, I would just say that this thing kind of smells, and man, I'm going to have to have proof. I think we had a call from Pennsylvania. Maybe she'll call back again on this. But uh, I still just don't see anything. Maybe it's a trade. Man, it's one of those stocks that does scare me. Uh, what else do we have? We've got about 30 seconds. Wait, you still have time to give me a call. Call in the next two minutes. But it'll be a quiet day. Again, uh, what do we want to say? We want to say that uh, I won't be here tomorrow. And you'll hear this. Dave's not here. Yep, that's what you'll hear. Okay, there, it's finally there. I can just barely hear that, Mr. Producer. Just barely.
We both know you've got what it takes to crush your goals with the will to make it happen. So why haven't you accomplished it yet? For most, the answer is fear. Fear is that limiting factor that stops us from getting what we truly want, but it doesn't have to. That's why on Wednesday, February 27th from 5 to 6 p.m., I'll be hosting my one-hour workshop, Overcoming Fear in Five Easy Steps. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, the 2018 Market Timer of the Year, author of Mastering Probability, and an expert in human emotion. Subscribers to Mastering Probability gain free access to this extraordinary workshop where I'll coach you how to bust through your barriers of fear. How you respond to fear is what sets you apart from the rest of the crowd. Look, this could be the most valuable hour we ever spend together. So come to the homepage of TFNN.com and begin your 30-day risk-free trial of Mastering Probability and take the next step towards the life you deserve. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And we're back. Um, also, uh, uh, Whiting Petroleum, nice gap down. And of course, uh, market trying to stay flat here today. And the S&P is kind of correlated to about 30% of uh, the energy market. And crude being up today kind of is save the bacon of the S&P. But it's still at the end of the day, I suspect we're going to see that the other 70% that people are going to say, hey, this is kind of weak, uh, kind of weak, and we'll take a look at it. Anyway, uh, that's what we want to do. Anyway, Whiting Petroleum down on uh, 10 million shares today, breaking the previous low. That opens up a uh, opportunity to go back and test the December 26th low at 1837. Uh, Weight Watchers, uh, of course, uh, is going to get the... Uh, Loser horn of the day. Down 30%. And, uh, eh, what can you say? I didn't, you know, Oprah's been on a diet for, what, 20 years? Never been able to lose any weight that I could tell, at least visually. Uh, and I don't think she wants to. I mean, she's out $580 million at least, maybe more, closer to a billion dollars. If she would have just hired somebody to slap the food out of her hand, I, you know, you could have paid people a hundred thousand dollars a year just to sit there. And every time she grabs something, just slap it out of her hand. 
Um, I, I would have lost that kind of weight for five million, but you know they didn't offer it to me. Uh, but uh, you know, I these things are always bust and boom uh, to begin with, much less having a uh, spokesperson for you that can't walk the the walk. Uh, and I don't see how anything on this changes anytime soon. But uh, you never know. Anyway, uh, we'll see you here on Friday. Sell when you can, not when you have to. We will. Oh, be back. Same bat time. Same bat channel. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. No matter what kind...